taking the shot. I got about a minute and a half left. Oh. I'm sure you're already done and you, yeah, you can hear me now. Yeah, you're the first sure one talking now, Bart, because I just transitioned into my second screen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome, everybody. Welcome to tonight's uh, battle-friendly match uh, between SOF and uh, the 101st. 101st uh, asked SOF to uh, train, or at least we, we talked to each other, and uh, we agreed on this friendly match. So, uh, yeah, welcome. Um I'm joined here by two guys today. Uh, one guy didn't fix his cam for me, so I've got that going for me. Uh, that's Barbarian. Hi, Barb. Hello, hello. How are you? Uh, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. It's a nice cold Saturday where I'm at. Um, so cold that they f the, the gates froze outside my apartment complex. But other than that, I'm good. You're ready for tonight? Oh, I'm ready. It's been a minute since we've done some ESM stuff, and it's a nice... Uh, it's a very nice and smooth system, especially with being pure vanilla, where I'm used to playing at least some kind of modded. So I'm really excited to see what uh, what we see tonight. Yep. Um, besides Barb, um, I'm also joined by the MVP, the most valuable player of the Pro Cup. It's Nefs. Hello, Nefs. Hello. Nice hat, bro. Yes. Yeah, I did that. I did that nicely. Um, Nefs is yeah, just sitting here as well, just to help us see things. Like I said, Nefs is a player of SOF, and um, uh, yeah, I just wanted to give yeah some insights of what he's thinking that is going on. So we'll try to get that in uh, yeah card basically or in the stream as much as possible. Um, yeah, everybody ready from us as well because um, I find find that the SOF is ready and uh, 105 is ready, but are you guys ready? I'm ready. Okay, good. Well, Bob doesn't have a cool hat, so he already lost. <laughs> I got a cooler balaclava. So, um, Nefs, since you're the new guy from SOF, tell something about SOF. I mean, I'm not, I'm not that new anymore, but um, SOF, I mean, you know them, they have played finals, um, they do the CTF regularly, they train, and now they're trying to get even better, so... We'll yep. see how they how they push their their favorite map. I think. Yeah, I think uh, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least they, it's my favorite map. And they apparently have a new member, which they're uh, gonna test out. So let's see how that works out. Yeah, yeah. For insights, um, SOF did uh, have a new guy in. He played in yeah, but not in the well, the last tournament, but like a long time ago in the tournaments as well. It's Keenan. Um, so I think he knows where what he's doing, but he just needs to get into the the game a little bit anymore. Over again. The thing with SOF system is it's really blog and play. You could just put the new member in and uh, give him instructions. In or he already good to go since the other members should know their positions uh, quite well. Yep. And speaking uh, of being rusty, uh, real quick, uh, Nick, um, with the scoreboard, which uh, <laughs> file do I direct it to? Uh, I forget where it, uh, where it's located. I think it's uh, I think it's um, pfft, let me check. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I should have asked this before. Does I it... forgot that it's. I thought I would uh, save it. It is in the your. Um... God damn it! Let me check. It's in the, I know it's in the, the ARMA files under Steam. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Desktop. Yeah, you need it one time, and then your. It's documents probably, then your username. 
Uh huh. And then in armor. You already ready? Oh. I'm checking that. I will restart my scoreboard script then, and then uh, you will. Uh, I will get the link uh, to it. Stream effect. Gotcha. Scoreboard. For me, it's in here. I will send you a Discord message really quickly. There. Oh, that's right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Anyway, right, I'll figure it out. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I think that I think you can find it. And then the last modified file. Uh, so it will search for a certain file, and then the last modified file. So for today, twenty oh five, for example, mm -hmm. you need that one. And then you need to be on desktop and you just press F2 or spam it a few times and it will start up. It won't show anything now because of the game is not started because we're waiting for two guys from uh, 105. So they uh, gave you some extra time, Barb. <laughs> lucky me, huh? Anyway, lucky it's you. A, it's all going according to the script. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I, I talked to, uh, I just wanted to get, because we were talking about uh, SOF, but uh, we didn't talk about 105, mm -hmm. or 151, it is, not 105, 151. Yeah, I, I don't think I've, I've seen them before. Never? Like, I don't know. That's they're quite me. new as well, but it, I, I had them, they are from 2019, so. And this is their first real, like, PvP experience in Arma, they didn't play any... Uh, yeah, PvP or team versus team in the uh, um, in the pre in the yeah previous years it is. So going to be really uh, fun to see them play for first time. And um, I think they have decent players because they told me they they play yeah other shooter games CS:GO what I think so they will have some decent players. I I'm really curious to see what they to see what they're going to do. Yeah, it's always interesting to see um, what uh, groups who are newer to to this or who are new to this style of uh, PvP are like, because um, and how they adapt. Because like we saw with Scandi and Nafs, you know, players who came from uh, you know, Scandi Recon, uh, they adapted pretty well to it. Yep. But they play in well, ESM would make three uh, different PvP style events. Friday night fight. Uh, ESM and then Friday Night Fight Titans, and yep. uh, so that they're very good at this kind of both uh, large scale and small scale uh, PvP. But it always just depends on the player and on the the chemistry. Yeah, I did. that. That's I think that's the most important thing: the chemistry. They, they I gave the guys from one of one five one some tips. I talked to him. I I like this like uh, how you say that is is enthusiasm for playing this game because they really want to win they really want to train mm. so um yeah i guess they they i can i guess they can get a pretty nice game going if they find the chemistry of playing together because that's the whole the whole thing you need to play together you need to communicate you need to know when it's yeah what you need to do uh well, johnny yeah. sorry johnny oh. we're uh, starting in a few minutes we're waiting for 151 Gotcha. What do you so want they, to say, uh, Bart? So they are Sorry. going to play in the Pro Cup? Question mark. These guys? Yep. No, no, no. These are guys from the Masters Cup. A Masters. All oh, right. I yeah. always get them mixed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This uh, basically all the guys that were friendly matching at the moment, or SOF is friendly matching, are from the Masters Cup. So we're basically training them a little bit in how to play in CTF, and uh, I think that can uh, only. Uh, Bringing nice things if they I play think, better. I think yeah, bro for them is at the moment is a little bit too much, just like for Bob and. Yup. Bob and his pro streaming. <laughs> <laughs> pro streamer. Pro shoutcaster. Exactly. Pro shoutcaster. So, yeah, I'm not. I'm not a master. I'm just a pro. I will rewatch your uh, cast uh, afterwards to see if everything worked. <laughs> 
<laughs> Otherwise, you need the checklist <laughs> as well because the checklist yeah. did work, or at least uh, as uh, as long we were uh, streaming. Right, right. Yeah, um, I just picked up a new webcam uh, yesterday, so I'm kind of. I was hoping to to crack it out for this and uh, use it. Well, I guess if it's not. Um... Nah, never mind. I'll, I'll it's, it, I won't mess around with it anymore. <laughs> um, it's I just a bit too late. I just needed the link. Now they're watching in the black screen, the black screen, <laughs> but they can watch me. So, I have my new. Do you did you get the SIM cat by the way, uh, Barb? The SIM cat. No, the ESM cap. The so the esports masters cap. So our, our official cap. Uh, no, I haven't. No, really. Uh, I thought they sent you as well one. So maybe it's still underway. <laughs> Uh, I think I, I talked to the uh, the person who was uh, uh, organizing that, and they just were. Uh, I think they were waiting on more supply to send them out to me. Uh, ah. I don't know if they ever did or not. Maybe they forgot. Who knows? <laughs> you will get one hopefully. Probably <laughs> Nick is capping. I am. He's capping. Yeah, but yep. otherwise I have a really bald head now, so uh, I shaved <laughs> it all off. So I thought, why not? <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I don't know what the guy's problem is at the moment here, but uh, he takes pretty long. Yeah, it's all good. It happens. And that's for a familiar game. Uh, you can never predict when Arma's going to have a hissy fit. Nope. There he is. Oh, it's a replacement. Oh. Saw so when I came in, there was like, well, at least a dozen of them. I guess yeah. He's a 6v6, so... One five one is really uh, represented at the moment. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I think they are represented in Teamspeak, and I think they're represented in uh, the chat from ESM as well. So, if you have a time, you can also zoom out of the map to see the infrastructure around Altus. <laughs> and that's for yeah, but Snaps, you know as well as me that you, if you cross the Yellow flex, you will die. I actually did it. Did I do it in the final? I think. Okay, well, we're I want to ready. See you did as well. They are ready, so uh, I'm going to push us in, and that means that I can go to in-game round one. All right. All right, so here we go. Zero, zero. Scoreboard is working for me at least. Um, they're wishing everybody good luck, have fun. Really sportive. Is it is that correct? Sportive or what is it? Like, if you're being really nice to the enemy team. Uh, sporting, like a good sportsmanship. Uh, good sportsmanship. Yeah, that was it. Anyway. On blue side, we have Carbiner, Timo, Nicholas, Aaron, Keenan, and Nemesis. Nemesis is well known, like for FNF and now uh, representing uh, SOF. Carbiner, team captain, and uh, Timo, uh, flag defender. Keenan, the new guy, uh, we'll see what he brings in. Do you know who we have on the right side, or you're on the other side as well? Right side meaning uh, blue four? Red side, red, red, red. Oh, red, red, red. <laughs> sorry. Uh, Vlad, uh, Mania, Rares, Dennis, uh, Alesto, and Mooch. Mooch being that uh, replacement. Mooch, I want to say I recognize that name, so I'm interested to see really? if... Uh, I want to say I, I do. Maybe, I, maybe it's just a common name. I I see Flat as well. Flat is a common name for me as well. Rocket going mm. off in the middle. <laughs> yeah, I think that was from uh, SLF over there sending uh, their rocket out quick. I told uh, I told one five one that there were rockets in the chest, so they they should know. So um, I'm just curious if they will uh, pick it up later and uh, use it against SOF. They're also not utilizing. They're also not utilizing the six point five. I see all of them rocking five five six and seven six two. Yeah, it's yeah, really, I see. Really standard. Hmm. Yeah, SOF is an yeah six five two guy. Oh. Carbine getting sniped there. <laughs> First blood going to 151. Yeah, good start. Here on the south side, we're going to have Mooch and Aaron. Mooch going to come around the corner here and should catch Aaron off guard. Aaron spots him out the oh! corner of their eye. And they, and they trade. trade it. <laughs> he put in a huge spread and all hit the wall, but that last bullet just dumped yep. Mooch. It must have. 
Nemesis is still there though, but they killed two already, 151. So it's yeah, going pretty, pretty well for them. Yeah, over on the north side, uh, we do have Nicholas making a run for it. Does Rares look behind him and see him? No, Rares is nope. still looking to the east. I think so uh, his friendly on the uh, the same side uh, got killed by the nade, so he, Nicholas didn't shoot. He just went yeah from the back. They're pushing up Ooh, though. Ooh, good shot from Nicholas there, getting a Lesto. And Nemesis is taking some of the attention back to uh, the front a little bit, if that makes sense. Uh -oh. They're seeing Manea on the respawn. Nick has to set up the spawn trap, but now yep. they're moving in. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, we should see Keenan or Carbiner. Keenan died though. We did. Uh, Keenan died by rares, and uh, Dennis holding off uh, Nemesis and Carb there. So Aaron is the one left, but he throws a nade. Does he hear it? No, nade goes the other way. So Dennis really well done, basically repelling the whole offensive on the left hand side. Yep. And now Alesto and Manea are hunting for Nicholas, since Alesto got in. Manea might think the Ooh. coast is clear. Ooh, that grenade, yeah. Yep, Taking well, out nice. Nicholas. So uh, they cleaned it up pretty nicely. Uh, really well done by them. Even that Nicholas had the mm -hmm. spawn trap going, they yeah. they couldn't get pushed. They they just can't, couldn't get past Dennis. So. Yeah, that was a really good, uh, really good play uh, from Red for there coming to take control back of their flag because we've seen that before where uh, one team gets control of the flag and here's Aaron gonna grab Red real quick. Yep. And he gets a flag touch as well. So that's the first flag touch of the game, though, for uh, Soldiers of Fortune. And uh, I find that pretty sad because Alesto was watching that flag. Yeah, obviously Aaron doesn't get far with it, but that touch is still going to count towards uh, Blue Force score. So Blue Force is in the lead. The whole offensive yep. of Red Force has been halted again. Yeah, Blue Force streaming in on the north side. Yep, yeah, Nemesis yep. over on the south, going through the containers. And I think Dennis noticed that because, or he did, they did call it because he's holding back. He's holding back. Red flag gets returned. Nade out. Nicholas with a great nade slams right at the feet of Alesto. Really? <laughs> Holy shit! That's like like half court range. Just yep, sinks yep, it yep. right in that hole. Nicholas is gonna ne get the flag, but yep. Dennis should be able to react. Come on, Dennis, you cheat him. Yep, you see them. Mm. Didn't hit him, though. No, Nicholas got around the corner just in time. Keenan bought loads on. of valuable time on the right flank. And did he die, yep. Derek? If Nemesis can make a play and take out Vlad or Dennis, then yep. Nicholas is free, go uh, free to go. But I think he already is. He's made yeah, so he's, much distance. He's already all the way there. He would go going in. Nemesis and there's Nemesis getting Vlad, yep. Dennis, nice, well done. Good nice flank, flank from Dennis there. there. Absolutely. Like I don't. It's 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 now the team play that is missing, but they are they are getting the kills and they they're cleaning them up. It's just that they need mm -hmm. to push a little bit more. But they're playing definitely pretty good here. So yeah, great, uh, great early start from Blue for there. 25 minutes left on the clock. Aaron on the flank there, going forwards. Does know where Alesto is though. Alesto calling out there's somebody at the flag. So Dennis is uh, coming back. Keenan trying to stop this northern red for aggression here. They're holed up right at this gate. Aaron died. So Keenan and uh, Minesta have been in a firefight for yeah, quite yeah. a while now. They're just kind of spraying bullets back at, between each other. <laughs> now Nicholas joins the fight. Keenan pushing. Keenan pushing. Oh, yes, Ryan well done. Oh, with his pants down. Rares goes is, uh, turns around immediately. So Carbiner is playing middle. Normally I play middle on this map. So Carbiner took my position there. Did wait for Keenan to call that. Dennis getting a nice snipe there all across the map. Red Force seems to be cell shocked. They're just holding back, not pushing yep. out. Yep. Ah, yeah, that is a very tight angle onto Keenan. 
A good eye from Dennis. But Nemesis going to get his revenge on Dennis for last time. <laughs> and that should clear up most of the path towards the flag, at least for the north. We do have Vlad and Mooch coming around. Oh, oh, that's three down. And a quick double between Aaron and Nemesis takes both of those Red 4 guys down. Aless is the last one here trying to defend the flag. I think he might see Nicholas? No. Manea again getting killed by Nicholas. The rarest Nicholas. Nicholas hears him. Gets him. Yeah. Good ears there. I thought that uh, Alesta was called out there. So Nemesis just ran in and... Uh... Oh, he did refire him. I didn't even see. Yeah, looks like they traded Alesto and Nemesis. And that clears it up for Carbiner to grab that flag and head out. Yep. And Nicholas and everyone are still alive. So they need to be... Yeah, they're now getting spawn trapped. This is really yeah. hard for him. <laughs> Aaron's sitting there to be waiting to get the second flag in, or the the third one even as ready. Yeah. And, and he's just gonna start running trains. Yeah, Nicholas gets killed though. Dude, yeah, that... so it's not much long. They don't know that Aaron is there. And he immediately goes to the pick, but that's just gonna let Let's don't look Dennis. around. <laughs> And Dad, yes, they sent him. And Alesto gets some nice. <sighs> Keenan already uh, on the far flank again. Yep. So he should be able to uh, pop Manea on the side here, but Manea comes around. And did they trade? Oh, oh, uh, oh. The trades, the, the trades. There. At least for Redford there. They only at the halfway mark, like like they're now do. Like they're doing now. Nice kill by Flat, by the way, there on the Nemesis. Yeah. Like Nemesis they're is focused on Mooch, but go ahead. Yeah, they they don't push. They need to push more. The they... cross the fifty line. Yeah, the Carbiner is there though to get, get Flat. Kills him. Should be called out for uh, Dennis or even Rares. Yeah, I could see Rares and Manea try and push up this north side again and try and get Carbiner from the side. Here comes Dennis from the south as well, looking for Carbiner. We do have Mooch pushing at the uh, around the halfway, but he's a uh, nice his own. kill by Dennis. Dennis definitely playing really good here. And Mooch getting taken out on the far angle from Nemesis along that uh, southern alley. So funny to see that Keenan and Nicholas probably already know they are uh, getting pushed by two guys, and they just waited <laughs> behind the truck there, both not looking out to the north. And he gets a double kill. Was it Nord, by the way? I don't even know if it's Nord. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bit of a coordinated push here. Yeah, yeah. From uh, Keenan and Nicholas on the north with Aaron pushing in on the south. Should spot Moose there. Ooh, very lucky not to get traded. Vlad turns around to hunt down Aaron. That's giving Keenan and Nicholas some opportunity to push for the flag and get that fifth touch. Aaron goes down, though. Nice kill by Min Essence on the left hand flight. Oh, only Nicholas is now alive. They, and he knows he's there. He's waiting for him. Carbine comes to uh, Nicholas A, though. Yes, he should be able to help with uh, any flanking maneuver from the south from Dennis or Vlad. It looks like they're going to just keep pushing east along the southern side there. They shoot, they shoot, yeah, if they can. They uh, opened the whole flank there. Nicholas still alive. Nicholas and Carbine are just waiting for them. Manea has been very passive, but now that they've got rares there, they're going to both push up together. That's very smart. Yeah, I've seen them doing that more often. They they always walk with the two of them. Nicholas hears them, though, watching uh, straight that way. Now watching the other opening. Yep, might toss a nade down there with how far away it is. I don't know if he still has one, though. Mm, good point. Sees the barrel. Hops Manea. Rare should know. Oh, but Nicholas. No, he's looking the other way. Refire him. Ah, well done by Rares there. Very nice. Ah, but Keenan. Oh, Keenan for the follow up. Corner. Yep. Ever that's what happens when we play so passive like that. Obviously, Manea was waiting for a battle buddy to push up, which is very smart, but that allowed for Keenan. And Blue Ford to, to bridge that gap and yeah. just maintain the pressure on Red Force side. 
They're not getting to past that uh, 50 mark. And although I like uh, Minea and Rares uh, pushing up together, um, they're going every time outside of the outside wall. I think they can go more to the middle-ish and maybe try mm -hmm. from there. Because as soon as you're like at the last wall, at the last gate, you can't go anywhere. It's either back or forward. Yep. Ooh, nice Great shot by shot Minea. Minea. Yeah. yeah. Good reaction onto Keenan. Carbiner uh, didn't hear Minea. Minea didn't hear Carbiner. Oh, and here we go. Push from Aaron and Carbiner. Gonna get real close. Alessa must think that's yep. a mooch. Ooh. Aaron pre fires it, but they trade. Yep. Well done. And uh, as well, again from Dennis, well done that uh, uh, snipe on Carbiner in the middle. Mm -hmm. And now he's helping Rares push. Rares kills Nicholas. That should open the whole flank. They, they can push now. Oh. Oh, big rocket onto Nicholas. Luckily, Rares didn't get hit with any shrapnel. But yeah, this is a big opportunity with how many kills uh, 151 have gotten. They yep. should recognize that from the kill feed and really try and push forward and at least set up a, another line of blocking defenses. Rocket from Blue Fort goes out and actually hits in the back line. If yep. that was a second later, that would have taken out Mooch on the respawn. <laughs> like, uh, it's getting a little bit more heat. That it seems like uh, 151 does feel it a little bit but it's playing really slowly if they read the battlefield they i think they can get pretty far in it in this I yeah they, they uh, go ahead they don't have the information they're not pushing a person forward to get an intel what we see blue for doing is to push nipples very far in deep and they know where the defense defense are yep yep they're not doing it they get kills and they're gonna sit in 50 and wait for the information to come to them yeah and that's too late does Keenan Ooh. know that Rares is there? I don't think so. Rares should hear him. Oh! <laughs> Keenan with the snapshot on the... There is there, on the right hand side. Oh, Vlad stepped out of bounds and now Mooch is on his own as Nemesis pushes. And then is getting a double kill there. Pushes though, Carbiner knows he's there, watching around. Oh wait! Nemesis got Mooch with a grenade, so yeah, Nemesis has the south side cleared all to himself because of uh, Vlad's step out of bounds. Oh, did he step out of bounds? Mm -hmm. oh, he did, because just... he, he was just killed, he didn't say by who, so he oh. must have stepped out. Yep, I see him on the line. Probably wanted to go more to the right than uh, stepped yeah, out. Yeah, he was, he was probably tunnel vision on the corner or something and just barely stepped out. Minea and uh, Rares again on the left hand side, killed Carbiner, shoot read that they can push pretty forward they are facing the same guys uh, over and over again so if they get killed by the same by the guys or the seat in kill feed they can push up pretty far nemesis heard nemesis. that yeah yeah yep. black block passed we'll wait for that it was perfect and mooch Ooh. none the wiser gets a quick double alesto did uh change positions there by the way yep and there's aaron getting dennis so that's Southside now pinching uh, between Aaron and Nemesis, but that grenade onto Alesto. Really on him. Right oh. on him, and he flops out of there. Beautiful grenade. Aaron, Aaron should notice that that there was a flag defender. He tries yeah, to pre fire anyway. Yeah. Gets the flag. And, he, and Mooch, I think, is going to throw a grenade, but that's way too late. And Aaron's on the run. Yeah, the only one in. In between is rare, rares. He should see Aaron. Oh, dead killed, killed by uh, a by Carp. Just as he was going to get into the sideline. Yeah, that grenade. Perfect timing. And that should be score number three for Blue 4. Yep. SOS. Uh, yeah, SOS. SOS. Blue 4. Nice kill by Dennis there. Killing Nemesis. And there we have the point. They're holding pretty decent. A little bit more pushing, and I think they can make it, but they're getting used. They're getting used. Carbine yeah. hurt Minea. Yeah, they're just putting on a masterclass of switching up their spots, SOF, and uh, really being dynamic. Aaron and Dennis. Dennis didn't look at the right side. Aaron sees him. Let's shoot. Oh, flat! <laughs> oh, Aaron getting a double kill there. Very good work. Yeah, looking at the scoreboard, 
uh, Nemesis, Nicholas, and Aaron all at 14, 15, 16, respectively. Great pistol kill, kill there from Mooch, I think it was, but uh, he gets did, traded out by Nemesis. Why did he have the pistol? Did he feel the sniper or something? I, I don't know. Switching to a pistol is always faster. Yeah, but... Then reloading. Yeah, but uh, he didn't fire it yet, so... Who knows? Eden and uh, Minea trying to fight it out on the left-hand side. Buying time for Nicholas to push. I think Eden threw an eight. Yep, but no one is there. Nicholas right between Dennis and Alesto. Doesn't see Dennis. Moves into Alesto's building. Dennis! And it gets him. Really well done. Good trade. But Carbine there for the follow-up. Nemesis is still alive. Mooch should have heard Nemesis shooting. Nemesis and Mooch. Well done by Mooch there. Carbiner there though for the follow-up again. Rares is yep. inside. Sees him. Didn't get him. No, it doesn't quite. I think he might have legged him, but uh didn't uh wasn't enough to take him down. Mooch there though, Mooch there though. Carbiner gets him. And well done by Ninea. Well done by chasing them, uh, especially. They all ah, went. Oh yeah. They all went to the flag, or at least to the the the, the line of the the retreat path of the Carbiner. So everybody had a shot at him. So he was fighting three or four guys. Aaron keeping up the pressure and getting revenge on Manea. Yeah, getting Can't killed quite though. Can't get rares. Yeah. Keenan is still alive on the left hand side. Nemesis long arm and a grenade gets taken down. And that grenade was actually pretty short. I thought it went much further than it did. Eden has a really, really dirty position there next to that fucking door. Yeah, right. And Nicholas gonna be pushing up on that northern side as well. I think he tossed a grenade. Yep, he did. I don't know where it went. Oh, in front oh. of the container. Lucky ah, just a little bit, a little bit more over, and uh, Dennis would be uh, Swiss cheese. Hey, they switched around. They switched around. Minea now on the north flank with Flat and Mooch, and Dennis holding the southern flank where Keenan and Nicholas are trying to hold at the moment. So now we have a three man push on the north. Or on the south, it is, but uh, yeah. Dennis, I think, heard something because he threw a grenade back to his left. Uh, almost got Keenan, but wasn't quite past the wall. Uh, looked like Rare's just going to push it, but ended up not. So it looks like uh, Keenan going to maintain his stealth. However, SLF is starting to get stopped a little bit towards the halfway mark. We have Mooch and Manea. Yep. As Carbiner holds that spot, grabs Mooch. Should see Manea get the trade. Well done. Oh, the trade off. Oh, Damn, well, trade and also, in a different sense of the word. I have the feeling they, they, they think that the south, uh, where Menea and Flat and uh, all the guys just died, are is easier to push or something, because a rares also came down south. You see that? So Yeah. So they're trying I mean, to, switch, to switch it up, at least. Yeah, I think they need. I I think they need to stick to the middle more. Like you were saying, there's plenty of cover, even though they would they are vulnerable vulnerable from both the north and the south. Sticking in the middle gives them plenty of cover to maneuver at least, because there's these long alleyways on the south and the north side that they just get sniped from from distance by blue four. Yep. As they respawn and, and come back into the AO, Timo tries to he oh. has to choose right or left, and he doesn't. I don't know why where is pushed out there instead of peeking the corner. That means that uh, if Timo came in the front, that means that SOF went for a full uh, assault. They have the feeling right. they can uh, field six guys in the front now because Timo is the flag defender. Lots of trades between this group on the south and we're down to just Nemesis and Vlad as they kind of ring around the rosy to each other. Nemesis holding, looks the wrong way for a second, Ooh, Vlad, Vlad, <laughs> Vlad, you gotta hit those, man. He was looking away from you. You get killed by an old man like that. That's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I saw all the shots going around him instead of getting him. <laughs> <laughs> he made a little cartoon outline of him with his bullets. Nine minutes left to go, and Blue Force still up by three. Two more to go for score limit. Nice Parker rocket. Almost got Mooch there. Yeah. Again, Mooch. Oh. Coming dangerously close to these rockets. Timo again going on the other side. Dennis 
ki oh no, it's Minea killing Nicholas. So they should see that it's open on the uh, southern side. Carbiner reacting to it and going south though. They have a chance to push out quick uh, quickly now. If they kill Timo and Carbiner, they can get pretty far. Nicholas with the int interesting choice of weapon, a toll gauge. <laughs> Hey, we've seen that before. Uh, work to some people's benefit before. Yep, it's like a sniper. We know it. So Timo gets stopped there by Rash and Moots, and there we go. Eminea going outside bounce again. Ho <laughs> ho! You need to watch those yellow flags. If you go past them, you die. Oh, Aaron with a great double kill. It gets traded by Rares. Moots uh, was moving. Couldn't get an accurate shot with that M14. And now Vlad and Dennis pushing to the north. They're going to get a shot from the south side by Nemesis here. Ooh, the snipe! That direction. <laughs> nice build done by Dennis, though. Dennis pushing up. He's trying to take out as many as he can. Oh, there he goes! But Carbiner Timo. knows him. Yep, Carbiner got, he got called out. They got to just start checking all these angles. Yep. And it's, it takes time, which which means they're going to be slower, which means they're not going to be as aggressive. But SOF, like you never know if it's going to be one, two, or four. <laughs> yeah, and Carbiding is holding a little bit more back. It's They they play more alone now, I have the feeling. Ooh, nice, Ooh, well done. Ooh, Nemesis! It's a 180 flick. Dirty. Jesus that Christ. That was dirty. So and Nemesis is an Aaron holding up that flag. Carbine getting a kill on the left hand side. It means that it's open. Probably they know that, so they start pushing in. <laughs> Ooh, Dennis almost got him. Good spray down from Aaron there. Aaron using the Type One Seventeen. Nice. Yeah, we. Is he really? Uh, yeah, yeah, the CSAT it's rifle. It's one of our favorite weapons in SOF. Everybody uses it's it. It's so fast firing. Yep, and uh, with a 6.5, it's a really good gun. Of 7.62 even. So uh, SOF is in this uh, with all around their flag. Carbine going in. Oh, no she's right. Gets killed by Alesto though. <laughs> Nicholas with that shotgun. Yeah, that 12 gauge double barrel. Frag isn't gonna go around the corner and hit rares. Ooh, nice Actually, nade! Disregard that, yeah, he came around the corner right as it went off, and he did. Nicholas, though, is dead. Yeah, Nicholas is yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, yeah, I see his knee bending the wrong way. I wasn't sure for a <laughs> second. So Nemesis is again there, and Keaton holding there as well. And uh, Mooch is uh, all the way up their flank, though. He's pushing. Oh, Nemesis couldn't get this hit onto Vlad and uh, couldn't move out of the way fast enough. Vlad gets the re-peak. So Still Mooch... good pressure from SOF. Mooch and Nicholas seeing each other. Nicholas trying to hit him in the fucking, uh, with the fucking shotgun, but he didn't get it, of <laughs> course, from that range. <laughs> Oh, with that uh, seaside rifle, do they have the underbarrel 50 or no? No, no, they, they, they don't. I didn't, I didn't think so, but I wasn't. I couldn't remember for sure. Mooch! Keenan with a tight angle on Manea. Did Mooch get Nicholas? No, no not yet. Didn't. They're fighting it out, but Mooch doesn't oh. know where he is. Oh! Oh, Nicholas with the pre fire. He saw that barrel and he knew. He knew. I need to say well done by Mooch because he pushed up really far. That's yeah, really I good. That's the, the, that's the furthest that Blue Force has gotten. If he had turned the corner, he would have had eyes on the flag. Oh, and Nas getting kicked off, so the auto balance. Uh, oh, wait, no, Nas is in here with us. There's no <laughs> it's moral support, so that's enough. They've lost their, uh, their caster buff. The caster buff, yeah. Well, that, why do you think they call it a caster? Because we cast buffs on the teams that we like. <laughs> Carbiner on the flag though, Alesto getting him, Keenan heard him, doesn't know where he's sitting I think. Oh, Nicholas missing both of his 12 gauge shots, but he's able to run away behind the house, Mooch Mooch did a bad nade I think. Yep. Yep. Oh, Keenan killing, almost killing Nicholas there. The <laughs> Nicholas oh, the, the frag! The frag from Nicholas, I'm taking out Keenan. And suddenly, I don't know, like they're they're fighting each other, it's th still they are getting here as a weapon. Yeah, they're, they're fighting each other, but then they just turn on Red 4 once they need to. 
Getting a quick double and just holding Red for to their spawn. No one's going even going for the flag right now. As Keenan no. goes down. Yeah, this is what we see There's more Aaron. often. Everybody's like, I'm holding a flank. I'm holding a flank. I'm holding a flank. And nobody goes for the flank. There's Aaron going for it. And he's going to be gone here soon. Dennis might get a shot on him if he's quick, but no, I think he's gone. Yeah, Aaron gets past the yellow container, and there's yeah. no angles. So that's going to be number four there. Nicholas, again, missing both of his shots at close range. No, he got one, I think. Yeah, he got uh, one. He got Mooch. Ah, uh, it's... Er, Manea. He got Manea. Oh, but Manea. Yes, sorry, did, yes. He, sorry. Did, he, he did get one, though. You're right. And Carabiner with a quick double onto Mooch. Oh, there goes Timo for the follow-up. Yep, Timo gets the follow-up. That's going to be touch number eight. And should be cap number five. It's uh they 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 got him in a headlock now. That's that's basically what's happening. Nemesis on the yep. position, carbine on the position, and they just want to prevent that guy from going back. But yeah, you're just walking by them like you don't even know that they're there, and you get shot at your own spawn. So that's uh the final capture for SOF. Mooch doesn't even make it into the AO before he gets dropped. His limp body falls inside of it. <laughs> and there we go, and that's end game. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't. I, I need to say for a first team, they did pretty good. Comparing that SOF knows basically every ins and outs. Yeah, they. S, um, SOF actually practices, don't they? Yep, we do. And, um, 25, 29, 22. Aaron, Nemesis, Nicholas taking the top three spots. Yep. Carbine rounding out number four. Pretty good. It is. So, uh, Dennis being uh, top for Red 4, we did see that. He was playing a really good battle, though. So yeah, it's really good battles on both sides. I, uh, I think they're going to... Uh, um, I think they're going to switch around to players, so... Uh, we will see some... Uh, yeah, some new players going, going out for uh, 151. So, interesting to see if they maybe field some better players. Maybe they're going to use some other tactics. Oh yeah, I need to change the map. And let me see, we need to go to storage. I was changing the uh, round two. Uh... Eight. And red didn't get anything, right? That's correct. Thank you. Yep. Five nil. Warp slot in so we can go for uh, round number two. There we go. I think, yeah. Again. There we go. For some reason, my blue red team logo is out of bounds. It does that. Yeah, weird, isn't it? I'm switching around the team names for a second, so I'm trying to not die, basically. So, there we go. Again, some uh, connection issues, but gives me time. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, looks like they're trying to kick uh, Nick ESM. Yeah, I don't That's know who fun. that guy is. Yeah. They, they don't like him, him or something. Should get rid of him. <laughs>
Let me check. Red team logo. Why are you not on the right spot? There we go. So, I fixed my shit. Did you fix your shit? I am in the process of fixing my shit. Okay. Well, Black... Uh, why did Black Wolves uh, didn't uh, do anything yet? They are all disconnecting, so you have some time. Awesome. <laughs> Nefs, how did you find the match, by the way? That's good to know. Good um, good commentary. Yeah, thank yeah, you, Nefs. Pretty... <laughs> no, um, they were really passive at the start. I think uh, around 10 minutes left mark, they decided that they can ungrouch themselves and start pushing towards the 50, and that's where you saw <laughs> some players getting kills at 50, and they even reached uh, near uh, SOF space, but uh, that was the story of the um, first uh, first half they were just too passive they were kept crouching kept looking for trades they kept using the battle buddy system even though it didn't work out because they didn't have aggression for trades yeah they, they i like that they wanted to try the buddy system it, i did see like what you say like at the 10 minute mark that they basically go got in alone so you did they did try some gets tactics and we did this see rocket launcher from them so they 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 definitely learning during the battle basically uh, anything to add now barbarian barbarian barb jesus hey the barbarian barb you know it's, it's whatever um no uh, i think you hit the nail on the head i think um 151 we'll see if they if this fresh uh, these fresh players can um can if they, I assume they, they're watching if they can uh, kind of see how I mean, even if they just emulated what F SMF did um, since they, they're going to be on that side I think they should be uh, pretty uh, pretty good I, pretty, I pretty think well they, off I think they watched the stream so they know exactly what was happening and what we said that they could do so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I I think that maybe they're going to try the things that we said maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll see a lot of pushing now so if i right. look at the teamspeak channel we see dennis again and i think that's it so the only player that has been not switched looks like is dennis the only one with the positive kd ratio yeah probably what i'd like them to see more is uh, get me control as SOF plays only one guy middle, they, they, there's a possibility to, to exploit that. They've kept going really the outskirts of the map, but not getting the me control. And the one try, time they, they tried to do the four stack at the south side, it actually worked out for them. So more more me control, less for the flanks. Yeah. And uh, Dennis was looking a little bit like uh, a libero, what we call them in SOF at least. So a middle player that goes back, basically a second defender. So if we see Dennis pushing more towards the mid and past the mid as well, maybe we'll see some nice action from them. I don't know if they have callouts as well. Like maybe uh, because I had the feeling that they, like people were shooting some people and they didn't know where they were shooting from. So maybe not correct callouts yet, but maybe found time. out. Did we find out whether SF had a team kill? Did we? Did they? Uh, be, I didn't see one. That might be the new world record. <laughs> now, <laughs> Keenan did kill them and were Nicholas almost. Then Nicholas threw a, a, a nade to Keenan, but Keenan ran away, so they didn't kill each other, but they were fighting each other. Even SF can learn in this match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Barb ready? Nuff ready? I'm ready. Pretty much ready, yep. Yeah, well, okay, Bob let's go. Bob is the pro, he's always ready. I'm always ready. Okay, here we go. And then, oh yeah, I need to switch my OBS, of course, otherwise... Uh... Oh, look at all those dead bodies that blew for a spawn. That's very telling. <laughs> really? <laughs> it, it's a lot yeah that's a lot that's a lot of disconnects 
so uh, seconds on the clock I'm, I'm just curious uh, barb tell me what type of weapons they get like uh what are they fielding let's see so as they are picking out seeing some uh 6.8 uh mcx's i see 7.62 ak12s i see a p90 I think I've seen a P90. I think that's actually the PS90. I think they're going to be in for a rough surprise when they find out it's single shot only. Um, yeah, more AK-12s, M4s. So, oh. yeah, a nice spread of weaponry from uh, 151. I uh, just see that my uh, my cast of one of my scenes is not set up right. So uh, I'm back to round one scoreboard, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it will still work. So I found It'll a bug. Work. I'm like, ah, I don't see the game. Fuck. <laughs> You'd have to worry Ooh, about it. Oh, rocket Bob there it. from Aaron taking out Dennis. First blood. Yeah, so much for that uh, positive KD, right? Yeah. <laughs> Bob had a completely wrong scoreboard last game with the wrong score. Eh, it's because it's because my scoreboard wasn't. Um, I had the scoreboard set up, but the OBS wasn't reading from the right text file. Let's see oh, oh. how Snowbox will use the rocket launcher. Let's see. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, I see him. Yep. Nemesis gonna run into Masaleru there. Snowfox instantly turning around, peeks that corner while Nemesis is reloading. Ah, uh, man, that's a rookie mistake, bud. Okay, so uh, SOF instantly uh, oh. fielding Timo as well in the front, so they have the feeling they can uh, push quite hard. Uh, and they can because they're killing. Dennis again getting killed there. Officer will be a crucial part in Red Force's attack. Aaron pushing up as well as Teemo, but we have Doris here. Hiding out in the barracks building. Gets one. Can't quite get Teemo, though. Oh, what did he do? Couldn't he hit him? I just couldn't transfer the spray. He got one, but not the second. So Carbiner and Teemo both going to get to the flag. Early touch, less than three minutes in. Teemo starts running. Snowfox can't get Carbiner. And so Carbiner going to run that a blocking force. As now we have Playin pushing up. So that was a really hard and a really well done push by uh, SOF oh, there. Oh, Keenan with a great double onto Playin and Dennis. And yeah, Timo going to get away. And that's going to be a quick first uh, first score there for SOF. Yup, yup. And uh, Timo, the flag defender, taking the flag. That's something new to see at least. Carbiner there. Yep. Nemesis Whoa. tossing a grenade. Carabiner gonna get friendly Ooh. fired by Nemesis's grenade. I want to hear <laughs> so <have> chat now. <laughs> Nemesis, I called it. <laughs> the pin was already out. <laughs> Nicholas with a long range shotgun shot into Snow Fox there. How did he Polymer do that? Looking around. They they just didn't SOF didn't give the space to one five one to to push like holy fucking shit yeah they're already going crazy nicholas goes down but keenan's still up around this other uh, barricade Ooh, polymer, polymer can't get that one yeah just couldn't land the headshot big push on the south side here from blue four very fast so they try and clear out this barracks building that's actually kind of smart from them just to there. hide up in here because uh they got to clear out all these rooms one by one uh and i say that but doors is actually taking up their old position Timo trading there. Timo seems to have no ears. <laughs> He's not used to sounds beyond the flag, Nevs. <laughs> Carbine and Snow Fox there. Oh. oh, here comes a great spot from Nemesis. Can't get the shot into Dennis. I think the glass might have deflected the shot. Ooh, nice. And yeah, Dennis tried to go for the repeat, but Nemesis very quick on the draw there. Oh, nice nade by... Uh... Playing, 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 playing. Killing Keenan there, behind that wall. Again, behind his spot. Carbiner though, still for the cross. Playing's looking that way. Tries to get onto Carabiner. Can't quite land it. Oh, he's actually shooting into the bricks. Yeah. Oh, he gets him. Nice, well done. Oh, yeah, they traded. So Nicholas. Yeah, no, no, Nicholas from the side blew his head off with some buckshot. Oh, really? Yeah, I see. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's, Eric. So he's... Aaron gets it. Can he get away? No, he can't get away. Doris there, wanting to return, return that it. flag. Doesn't need to, though. He it's... salutes the flag. That's smart. Ooh, Timo getting a Timo double kill there. 
Great job from Timo there. Yep. Nemes is holding that uh, that angle really well. Timo knows the flag is open, goes for it at least twice. Polymer should see him running back and gets him. Well done. Again, Nicholas with that snipe. <laughs> Yeah, they, uh, to be to uh, Blue Force credit here, 151, they are now holding it uh, the flag pretty tightly. Uh, Blue Force still able to get up and touch the flag, which is contributing to points, but it is uh, second fiddle to the actual captures. It was a really hard push from SOF, and after that, they yeah they got him pushed back a little bit. Nice dodge from Nicholas there on that nade, just laid down. Muscleleru comes out swinging again around and Aaron, but can't land a shot with uh, the 30 bullets. And Aaron shows him how it's done. Actually, looks like he winged them, but couldn't land a second. Keenan getting sniped by uh, playing uh, there. Really well done. So he gets pushed up a little bit. Nemsis is still holding this barracks building, trying to be a thorn in the side. Pull off a bit of a spawn camp. Doris. Not sure what Doris is exactly. I think they're just holding defensive, but... The fact that Nemesis is right above Doris here. Carbine got called out though. Pulled me uh, looking that way. Oh, Aaron uh, spotted on the roof. Doesn't get a shot in though. <laughs> Aaron's aiming over at Polymer, but Carabiner gets that kill. Yeah, again, we're seeing really great pressure from SOF. Oh, Timo trading there. Very nice trade. Denying the flag for a little bit longer. Doris is still alive, though. Watching that flag, is he? Yep, he is. Masaleru kills uh, Nemesis this time. Getting a great shot on the spawn camp for Nemesis. But goes down to Aaron there as uh, he tries to push up Ooh, to the well flag. Well done Aaron... by Do Oh, no. Aaron got killed by play uh, playing on the playing. other side. Yeah, so they're holding a great cross uh, crossfire defense. But that's going to be down to Doris as... Three red four are going to be pushed, uh, pushed on that flag. Carabiner checking the corners, checking those reverse hiding spots. Yeah, but that Doris is in a nice position, killing Nicholas. Carbine yeah. should know he's in the office building now. He's looking over that way. Ooh, what Ooh. a shot. I've seen SF destroy the office building before. I'm yep. Oh, Carbine. <laughs> Looks oh, around. Oh, another? He got yep. Masalaru. Snowfox and uh, Dennis are quick on the on the pursuit, but Snowfox not going to be quick enough to find Carbine. He's checking too many angles, which isn't a bad yeah. idea with SOF's track record, but still. Dennis hurrying uh, where Keenan was called out, uh, instantly went yep. in this back. Snowfox getting killed by uh, Nemesis, though. Keenan met the spawn trap. <sighs> yep, he got killed in the blue respawn zone, so he pushed up a little bit too far. <laughs> and... You can Carabiner. Yep. There's point number two for uh, SLF. Dennis killing Aaron on long, uh, a long shot. Nemesis and Polymer trading. And we're starting to see Blue Ford get hold of the situation. Yeah, they traded a lot of people as well. Eh? So, the, so all, the, all the things that we learned in match one, the only one that's remembering it is Dennis. And you see Dennis pushing a little bit more as well, but he needs to get his team with him. Don't check too many corners. They they're not every, they're always at specific corners. Oh, Timo! Masalo came out swinging with a pre-fire, but Timo pulled back and pre-fired himself. And uh, got a Ooh, great nice Nate. there. Nate from Polymer. Where did that come from? <laughs> from know. downtown. Carbiner and uh, Snowfox missing each other. Car Carbiner looks around. Rocket going out. Way and too far. Way too far. Actually, eh, yeah, pretty way, way too far. Polymer killing Carbiner there. We're in five fight, pulled back, and uh, came pre firing around the corner. Nemesis knew where he was. Ray Redford now pushing on Blue Force flag. Oh, we see Trent Vi there. How is that happen? Nemesis at that flag. Mm, not quite, but he's almost there.
He's holding. He's holding for the rest, seems like. Yeah, not a bad idea. Now that there's more gunfire, he's gonna push up. Doris getting a little bit covered by this smoke screen here. And if this... Nemesis pushes up. Is it the first time that we see the use of smoke, uh, Nevs? They used it in the uh... first round as well. In um, cap number three, I think. He did was able to see, see through like just the edge of the smoke, so it must have oh. seen Nemesis' silhouette. So good shot from Doris. Yeah, there. because I'm looking through that smoke, but I can't see shit though. So well done. Must have seen just like yeah, like a shape or movement or something. So well done. Oh, Keith Care Nicholas getting the double kill there. McClyro and Dennis just oh. uh, going up. Carbine going for a run. He did get killed. Gets a touch, yeah. Like I like, the, I really like the push of SOF. I really like the defense of one five one, but it's just a tooth too, too slow, basically. Well, the, the thing is that you can't score while you're on, you're on defense. No. You know what I mean? So the fact that they're doing this, I mean, they're holding. Uh, it, if they were doing a worse job, this match would be over by now. Because SOF like, would absolutely, uh, you know, run five flags back to back to back to back to yeah. back if they could. So, so they are doing a decent job at holding, but they need to do. Uh, a better job at scoring. <laughs> <laughs> so what we see as well, like playing now, fighting Timo, oh, even dying. Um, getting the drop on Timo, yeah. Yep. Yeah, but like, he, Timo was a lone guy there, so leave him there. What he's going to do? Kill everybody. So if you, Timo, if he's sitting there, your flank is open. If they just get past, oh, oh, Doris, someone gets almost getting the oh, double kill Nade there. Nade in, Nade in, Nade in. Nice, nice looking Nade though. Uh, oh, friendly fire there. Palmer taking out Dennis, who just managed to uh, stop the flag carrier. Nice by Polymer. Pushing in. Oh, and almost gets a shot on Carbiner. It's coming down to the same thing. It's not getting 50 control, not getting map control. You're not letting them get, you're letting SOF get to, into their positions. Mm -hmm. And then it's really difficult to clean them out from them. Yep. Yeah, 151 is hanging on by the skin of their teeth, and that's it. Yeah, like, playing is... Playing wanted to push, like, earlier, but fall back, basically, to kill Timo, and gets killed even as well, so... And now we see him push a little bit. So he has the feeling that flank is open. He will bump into Nemesis and Timo, though, soon. Sees him. But Nemesis did see him. <laughs> but that took the pressure off from that flank for a second, and now we can kill Carbine. Yep. Oh, Polymer got a great return on Keenan there, and Masalaro are going to take down uh, Carbiner. So three guys on the left hand side. Timo there. Nemesis is trading up. And the flag is basically open. And they don't know where he's sitting. I like Doris's camp positions though. Like the, the the angles he takes are not angles that you usually look at. See, Timo, and there he goes. Well, well really well angled by Doris there, uh, holding that flag. Yeah, he's switching, he's switching up the angles, which is really good. Switching up the spots. Nemesis is getting killed there. Snowfox didn't uh, get Nicholas there though. Aaron Aaron's again on the roof. Yeah, he's, he, I think he's the one popping those smokes. Three smokes down. Really just trying to oh. cover this uh, <laughs> flag area. And he survives? Yes, he survives. Oh, and he falls down the roof. <laughs> I would have been, that would have been hilarious if he died by falling. He's got that Mark 200 as well, I think. Yeah. So he's going to spray down Palmer there. Great oh, shot. Oh, he has the machine gun. Yeah. So he's going yeah. to set up somewhere. Put the, the bipods on the ground and uh, just sit there. Yeah, it looks like that's what that's he's gonna what do I... right here. <laughs> what an angle as what well. What is that angle? That is disgusting. Masalar as he peeks out over here, Aaron should have an angle. Ah, I can't quite get it. Doors here, still holding that flag. Carbine and Noster, some defender, doesn't know where. Carbine nice. gets killed. Was, he, uh, was Aaron killed by uh, Nate? Uh, he's killed by Masalaru there. He actually pushed up and flushed Aaron out. He and SOF still doesn't up. know where Doris is though, so Doris holding that angle. Just killing one it's by super one. super tight, yeah. Nate 
Nefs, Nefs, note that down, that angle. We need to note that down. <laughs> write this down, write this down. Rocket coming in, but ineffective. Again, play with He got the flank. Oh, down, Dennis and so Fox. Uh, and Snowfox is pushing the Keeman's line of fire. Gets a double kill onto Masalaru too. We just got Nemesis. So we see a little bit of panics happening sometimes. They don't know who's where, and then they start killing each other, you know? Playing again. Sees Carbiner, gets the shot on him. There's Keenan. a good opportunity here, with the exception of Keenan, who is going to take his opportunity to push up. Yeah. Doris is still on the defense, though. But I don't. I th I think Keenan doesn't know where Doris is as well. So, for everybody, it's just a a riddle to see where he's it at. And if you're alone, you can push that flag, but you will die. Keenan getting uh, McClurry there, or McClurry getting Keenan there, though. Nice clay by playing there. Aaron coming around the corner. Playing doesn't hear him <laughs> and free fires him. Very nice. Aaron. Nice oh, nade. Like nade. Masalara with a great arm. Nemesis there though. Does he know he's pushing? I think he doesn't no. know. But they are pushing now. They have the feeling this is the flank to push in. Oh, oh and Carbina there. Yeah. And Carbina, yeah. Masalara was getting a bit too eager there to push up. I think Aaron called it. Somebody called that the right flank is open because they were holding that right flank pretty well. And here we go again. Like they're holding too much back. Push out, guys. Like you can you can be like three buildings closer to him instead of this long range fire fight. That makes me wonder what kind of advice did Nick gave them? Yeah. Um, I'm not going to this. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I think the information wasn't sufficient enough. I did say though that if they kill three guys, that they need to push hard, basically, and that they need to play two one two. So, and that's what they are doing, at least when they're getting out of the flank. Polymer trading there with Aaron though. Good shot from Carbion on the Masolaro. That's going to bring Dennis back around. And gets the not double. Instead, gets traded by Dennis. So uh, they have some breathing space, it looks like, in the last 10 minutes here. And Dennis knows that he has some breathing space because he's rushing it. Yeah, and now he's holding a, should be holding a decent spot with that M4. It is a nice spot to sit in. You can uh, hold two angles and you can hear everything. Nicholas and Keenan there, though, for uh, trying to flush him out. But where is the rest? They still think there's people around them, I think. Oh, Dennis, I think, either heard or saw Nicholas at the corner of their eye. And gets the kill there. Aaron might come up, come up on his rear. Lane's still alive. Keenan goes down to Snow Fox. Yep, yep, yep. And Dennis has to be careful. Oh, Jesus, Dennis. Why is he running back? I think he's checking. Oh! <laughs> Dennis, he's no! He's teasing it. He's just teasing it. I'm actually genuinely surprised he didn't get uh, called yep. out of bounds there. But they know Keenan's the flank is around. open, so they're pushing quite hard now. And a uh, little over 11 minutes left to go. We could see two captures from Blue, but we, we're going to need to see three if they want to win uh, this round. So I like Dennis's aggressive space playstyle at the moment. Ooh, Doris didn't get him. And he gets no, him at the moment. Dennis at the flag, though. Like, he knows. Nicholas yeah, is there, no though. No one on Red 4 is uh, uh, anticipating this kind of aggression and the timing! <laughs> Did you see that? No, Holy both, shit! Oh, both of those angles. And yes, SO Dennis just. SOF doesn't know that he's there, so. And Dennis doesn't know that SOF doesn't have a defender, so he's trying to yeah, be really he, careful. Shoots he gets now, Nicholas though. there, and he's gonna use that as his opening. His heart is probably pounding. I'm at the flag, I'm at the flag. Rocket going out. Keenan get, did get a call though that he's sitting there, but just said like, okay, I'm continuing running in, running in because it doesn't matter. Carbine getting a touch in. Yep. Did he get away? 
Yeah, he did, but he has to get further away. He's got Polymer and Doris both chasing him, but Nemesis getting Polymer and Doris there. So now Carabiner has a uh, clear shot. Then it's still Aaron. Yeah. And if he uh, gets Nicholas now. I think he got winged there by Nicholas, but he's going to try and repeak it. Nice. Oh, the oh, grenade. The nade. From oh, Nicholas. Very I wanted nice. to see Dennis skill uh, Carbiner there, but uh, sadly. <laughs> yeah. He did proves really well. Nemesis is holding up their uh, complete assault there. But I really think now that Dennis has took so long and uh, tried to do such a long play that playing defensive uh, with only five players back here is just now we're going to see that train being run again. Nemesis being quick with a, another take. Ooh, Polymer, nice. Yep. Heen and there, though, still for the cross on the dirty spot. Did it? The Nicholas is coming. No. There's Barracula. Body, uh, a pile of bodies. <laughs> Keenan there though, still for the spawn camp. Mm -hmm. So I find it funny, SOF is getting the flags though, but can't get them away as much as they did to. Like, every corner there's a guy. Keenan's still sitting there. Snowfox is watching the wrong angle. A ring around the rose with Carbiner here. <laughs> and he gets him. Oh. Nice. Good shot. Eight and a half minutes left to go. They need to do move mountains to uh, yeah. get it to the same score. But they're not playing bad. They are getting used. You see that they're getting used to the map and playing against real players. And that's something they. Yeah, they, yeah, they, just need they, to they're experience. improving the more that they, they play, and uh, yeah. so this is really good experience. Uh, um, again, against one of the, possibly one of the best teams. I, possibly, I, say, yes. I would definitely say one of the best, possibly the best team, um, you know, playing this ESM style of uh, capture the flag. 88 would like to know your location. <laughs> yeah, okay. Timo holding, uh, defending the uh, blue flag here. Did get called out though because Polymer is searching for him. Oof. Oof, I see it. McClaru. He Dennis got there. so close to getting a touch, but it's... I would be I, I would give it them. They need to get one touch, you know? For some yeah, morale right. boost, like, you can use it. <laughs> How to do it in, like, uh, sports games, like, fir first goal wins? Yes. First touch wins? Yeah, go uh, <laughs> yeah, goal. goal. Final score. End the game. That is back in that same situation, surrounded on all sides by Red 4 as they try and push back. We need to see more aggression but um, from Blue 4. Yep. They're starting to push out, but by the time they get to anywhere half decent, SOF is going to be rushing down their throats. Ooh, the snipe there from playing on Aaron. Nicholas cleaning up Dennis, though. Yep, that takes out the forward element, and we're back to... Uh, so actually, why right now? This is the furthest that uh, 151 have gotten as far as a team. Yeah, so yeah. Holding the middle of it. Masalaru getting caught on the open as he tries to push up. Playin getting a trade with Nicholas there. Carabina's grenade. I think it's going to go far. Now they're trading. Now they're pushing up. Taking the pressure. They're slowing us off down. And that's why they're, they're learning. Oh, that sniped by Car. Great shot from Carabina there. Snowfox there. Demesis didn't look around. Why shoot you? Oh, Snow's going to get a touch. Yes, he is. Come on, Snowfox. You can do this. But there's three three guys from SOF there, and as soon as they know that he's there, uh, Nicholas, they come on, look to his right. Yeah, let's yes. go. He gets yes, it. <laughs> he gets it. Well he done, the one. Timo. Timo there. See him, Doesn't get him, but no. Oh. Ah, Nicholas, Nicholas on the does. other flank. Well done, though. So even that this is what what's happening indeed is Timo normally defense. Now he's in the offensive. They they got the t chance to go in. And uh, it was a nice touch, at least. So a little bit more pushing there. That's nice to see. How would you make a touch nice? Yeah. There's plenty of ways to do that. Yeah. <laughs> you want to find out, Nevs? <laughs> that's, that's for a different Ooh, stream. Oh, almost friendly fire between Keenan and Carbine. I think he actually did. <sighs> Keenan getting leg there. Doris again on that nasty angle. 
Nemesis throwing a nade in. Don't That's know if it's going angle, far. Yeah. Way too far. It's really hard to nade that slot off as well. Yeah. Nemesis knows he's somewhere there, so he's trying to get to that. And it gets the pre-fire round. McLaru defending the flag. Nemesis still alive though. Dennis getting Carbiner. And they should just push now. Push out. Dennis playing just push. You have the all open field. And they're doing that. They're doing exactly that. Don't look around. Just go. Dennis is getting the taste of it at least. So like he, he knows. He, I don't want to bother with the other flank. I'm just pushing the middle. And let's go. Hold W. That's all you need to do. Gets a nice trade there on Nicholas. Nemesis spawn capping. Killing three. Polymer's still alive. Yeah. Might come around the side here. Sees oh, him. Think he's up. Get nah, a trade. Oh, trade. He's at least gone. Four minutes to go. Okay, Dennis, let's do this. Come on. You know there's no defender. Aaron is sitting on the nasty angle there. And Dennis going for it. Nicholas there, though, to defend. Doesn't get him. Throwing in the nade. Oh, it's Dennis. Pre firing. Yep, he, th he doesn't know that he's playing six guys in the front, so. Nice pre fires, though. Oh! Uh, Dennis sprinting around that way too aggressively. Yeah. If he peeked out from it with his gun up, he would have caught him. It was a nice play, though. He he tried. He, he got did, far. he did. He really did. Is Aaron already dead, or is he still alive in that building? Nah, he's still up. Yep. Polymer's trying to uh, move around and flank him, but... Carbiner there, to him. the flag. There's nobody from uh, 151. To intercept, that will be a fourth capture for SOF. Aaron, Aaron did get called by, uh, killed by Polymer there. Yes, he did. And interesting to know, Polymer is using an, an MP5K with a Spectre sight on it, and he slumps over in a hallway. <laughs> that flag being carried by, that's going to be Carbiner now. He's going to be number four. With two and a half minutes left to go, we should see number five pretty quick as well. Nicholas will run here. Doris on the same position, knows it's a good position. Stays there. Polymer and Timo fighting it off. I think I think if they play against uh, SOF next week again, I think they uh, will definitely uh, play better than they did now. Especially no, if they yeah. see the see the stream. <laughs> no. Then. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of happening though. Doris move positions again. Carbiner always checks that position. Doesn't do now. <laughs> One of the um, most unexpected things, Timo's at the top of the leaderboard almost. Really? He, he's usually on the other end. Yeah, he is at the top of the leaderboard. He has He's uh, 28 and 15. He's got the most kills. But oh, uh, Carbiner with the best KD. And now uh, at the point clear, Doris getting taken up by Nemesis. Can't get play in. Aaron gonna run away. Has to... Gets two uh, kills. Kills Nicholas, maybe? No. Whoa. No, can't get the triple. Then so is there. Is gonna be... Nice Nate. Not quite though. Oh, and Lots he runs away. Just, that's gonna be 5 0. Yep. Just at the last second. Maybe, maybe oh, Dennis is maybe going Dennis. for the follow up. No, not mm. quite. Nicholas is gonna be way too slippery for that. He knows the, mm. the optimal goes... angle. Ooh, the rocket. Uh, if it had missed that pole and got a bit further, hit those He almost got it at the last him, yeah. second. SOF gets five points. <laughs> Carbine getting killed by Dennis there. Dennis just running that flag. And at the last second, they, they get the five points. That's game. That's game. And then GG's. 
Big GG's. Big GG's indeed. Timo almost breaking 30 there. Nicholas right behind him with 28. But Carbine is going to be at the top of the leaderboard with uh, 23 and 13. Yep. So even that they were playing slow, they didn't get quite the kills, sadly. Well, the guys that were running around get, get, get the most kills. Note Aaron, by the way, sitting in 11th with 13-17. I don't know what he had this... Uh... <laughs> we have ourselves a new flag defender, boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keenan, well, the, the thing new... is that he was, he was defending the enemy team's flag. We saw him <laughs> spawn camping more than anything, I think. I need to, and uh, I like to see that Keenan uh, gets uh, gets with the guys as well for a new guy just uh, joining mm -hmm. in again. Ah mm -hmm. oh, man, what a game! What a game! What a game! What a match! What a match! So Nev, what do you th what do you have to say about everything? I mean, SFD, they're thinking of pushing the flanks for for uh, 